Trigger warning. Let's talk about why so many men get their priorities mistaken when it comes to who has more rights to their finances. I'm sorry if you feel butt hurt by this truth, but it needs to be addressed. How can we create a balance without hurting our spouse while still taking care of extended family members? At what point do you say it's enough? Islamically, as a wife, we have more financial rights towards our husband than his own parents. So many people in the past have warned those who continue to prioritize others over their own family that the end result is being left alone with no one to care about you. Many men find themselves isolated and alone when they realize they've lost their wife and kids due to neglecting them for extended family. By the time they realize their mistake, it's often too late. The connection with their immediate family is severed, and they're left in isolation and depression. When you lose your job and say, I can't send money this month, that's when you'll see their true colors. And when you try to understand why they're all boycotting you, and you can't comprehend their ingratitude, even though the good you did outweighs the bad, they'll say, well, we never asked. So why should we wait until old age if the end result is being lonely and all by yourself? Eventually, you won't be able to send anymore, and you'll end up just like the older generation, where us children are left to pick up the pieces. This is the children's perspective who suffered the most. Now that we're older, we can speak up and try to fix it. Should all the money go to your parents and siblings or your wife and kids? Let's clear this up with what Islam actually teaches. And remember, let's not confuse culture with religion. First off, your wife and kids. The Quran and Hadith emphasize that your immediate family comes first. Men are the protectors and maintainers of women, because Allah has given the one more strength than the other, and because they support them from their means. Quran 434. The Prophet Muhammad, PBUH, said, It is enough sin for a man to withhold the sustenance from those whom he owns. Muslim. Now let's talk about parents. Islam also places a high value on caring for your parents, especially as they age. And we have enjoined upon man care for his parents. Quran 31.14 The Prophet Muhammad, PBUH, said, The pleasure of Allah lies in the pleasure of the parent. Tirmidhi So where should your money go? Primarily it should go to your wife and kids to ensure their needs are met. But this doesn't mean you neglect your parents. Supporting them, especially in their old age, is also important. As for siblings, they don't have the same financial rights over you as your immediate family and parents do. However, helping them if you are able is encouraged. In summary, your wife and kids come first for financial support, followed by your parents. Balance and context are key. Let's not confuse culture with religion. Like, share, and subscribe if you're ready to prioritize your responsibilities according to Islamic teachings.